Hello everyone and welcome to your Monday movement. I'm really excited for today's workout because it's a two part workout and we're going to do some new moves. Um, for the first part, we're gonna be working with a 30 second work interval for like a combo movement. And then in between each movement that we have, we're gonna do a 20 second wall sit. So your legs are gonna be screaming at you. We're gonna get your heart rate up. And as always, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So our first movement is a squat to a curl and a press. You need a medium set of dumbbells, a light set of dumbbells, and then a kettlebell, or you could use that medium set of dumbbells as well for this workout. So I'm gonna use my 12 pound dumbbells for the squat curl press. Weights are by your side in your hand. You squat back and down, keeping your chest lifted. As you stand, you curl and then press the weights overhead. Squat, curl, press. Squat, curl, press. Now what's important as you squat, curl, press is that you keep, like I said, the chest up rather than letting your chest go down your butt go up. So butt down, chest up, curl and extend. We've got 30 seconds here. Control those weights on the way up and especially on the way down. After your 30 seconds, set the weights aside and you're going to do a wall sit. Now, I don't have a wall that's convenient right now, but things that I want to remind you of. When you sit against the wall, shoulders are against the wall, right stacked over your hips. Knees are in line with the hips. You're sitting down nice and low. Don't have your butt higher than your hips. Get down nice and low so you feel that in your quads. And then make sure your ankles are underneath your knees. 20 second hold. If you find that's not challenging enough, bump it up to 30 seconds, okay? Take control of your workout. Our next movement is our ah, alternating reverse lunge with a punch. This is where the light weights come in. You're gonna have lunges, the weights in your hands, weights at your shoulders, so elbows are bent. You're gonna take a reverse lunge, as you reverse lunge, you're gonna punch across the body. Come back to stand. Reverse lunge, punch. Reverse lunge, punch, yikes. A Little bit of balance. Now things I really want you to look for here, because you're turning your torso, it's gonna be so easy when you lunge back and twist to let that front knee collapse in. Don't let it do that. Keep opening the knee out to the side as you cross the body with that punch. Let your knee follow the punch. That's actually a really great idea. 30 seconds here. After your 30 seconds, 20 seconds or 30 seconds, we'll sit. Next movement is the sumo della type hole. Kylie fit favorite here. Grab your kettlebell. Wide stance. Sit down. As you stand, Kettlebell comes up the chest. It's one of my favorite total body movements. Thirty seconds of that, and then you have the twenty second or thirty second wall sit. And our last movement is a lateral lunge. We're just gonna slide from side to side. So I'm gonna grab that medium dumbbell. Hold it at my chest. Toes turn out slightly. Lunge side to side to side. What's important here is that you stay low. Don't come up in the middle. It's not up and down. Keep the tension in the legs. Side to side. Butt back. Feel the inner thighs. When you're done with your 30 seconds, you guessed it, wall sit. 20 to 30 seconds. Go through that four times. Now, that's part one. Part two is a little bit more cardio. We're gonna do mountain climbers, and then we're going to do um, this alternating side, or alternating squat shuffle movement that I'm gonna break down for you. Some abs, bicycles, and then high knees. High knees always get me. I don't care how in shape you are, high knees is hard. So let's start off. This is a 30 second interval for everything, but what, night, what is nice here is it's 30 seconds work, so I want you to go all out, 15 seconds rest. So you get rest in between the exercise. I don't always do this. Mountain climbers, start your plank. Shoulders over wrists. Run the knees to the chest. 
So when I teach mountain climbers, that's how I do them. I don't do that business where you're like, you touch the foot down. I don't know what that is. Run it up. Real quick. Fast, 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 fast. 30 seconds, all you got. 15 seconds rest. If you're just getting back into working out, adjust that to 20 seconds or maybe even 30 seconds, right? Make it work for you. Next movement. It's that squat twist shuffle. If you have zero coordination, stay with me here. We're gonna squat down. I'm gonna stack one hand on top of the other. Squat down, twist outside. Squat down, shuffle in. Squat, twist out, squat down, shuffle in. Twist, squat, shuffle. Twist, squat, shuffle. Twist, squat, shuffle. So once you find your rhythm, it really flows. 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Third movement, bicycles. Heart rate comes down. Come down to the ground. Hands behind your head. Elbows wide, across the body. Think shoulder to knee, not elbow to knee. Legs are low. Navel to spine. After your 30 seconds, rest for 15. Oh. And then our beloved high knees. So, I like to have my hands out in front of me as a guide. That's how high I want my knees to be when I run. You are light on your feet. Heels do not touch the ground. Think of having springs on the balls of your feet. And every time your, the ball of your foot goes down, it just pops right back up. So hands out as a guide. Get them up. 30 seconds. There we go. After that, rest for a minute. Start back at the top, and again, go through that four times, three times if you're short on time. You guys, enjoy this workout, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.